Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football back here at the 87th Annual Texas High School Coaches Association Convention here in the palatial Built with Chocolate Milk Coaches Lounge here with the head coach of the Lufkin Panthers, Coach Todd Quick. Uh, coach, appreciate you stopping by early, early this you morning bet. and chatting with you us. You bet, appreciate it. Uh, first off, Coach, uh, you know, on a Saturday night, um, you know, there was a, a, a – the Hall of Honor banquet took place, and uh, a, a legend in Lufkin, Coach Outlaw, was honored uh, at that banquet. And I know you, you know, in, in, you know, when Coach Outlaw was with us, you got to know him uh, when you were when you were in Lufkin, and, and the kind of man and the impact that he had on that community. Uh, for those who aren't as familiar with Coach Outlaw as, as others, uh, what does he mean to the community at Lufkin, and what does he mean to you personally? Well, I, I was very fortunate. I got to coach with him for 26 years, and. Uh, uh, when you when you do that, you you know you get to know you get to know each other and you, you see what they're doing and and uh, and what they're about. And he was about the kids. He was about taking care of them and and making sure they had every opportunity they needed. Or and and you know he held them accountable. And I think that's that's what they wanted. And uh, he took care of kids. He took care of the people in the building. He took care of the people in the community. And uh, and uh, that's why people loved him so much. And, uh, you know, in a place like Lufkin, a blue-collar place, kids work hard. That, that accountability and that hard work uh, kind of fits, that, fits the community, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. He fit right in. That's exactly where he was, he was called to be there. You know, it took, he, was, um, he was at Arkadelphia High School uh, in Arkansas, and then he was at Sherman High School in Lufkin. And that was it. That was the, the three schools that he coached at. And, and uh, God got him to where he was supposed to be, and he took care. Of, he took care of all of us. He took care of coaches the same way, and uh, it was where he was supposed to be. Now you know we're here at the co at the coaches convention in 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 Houston, and it's not not too bad of a drive for you guys. And I know Lufkin's no, not. not Lufkin's not really close to anywhere, but you're not too far from anywhere either. So uh, no, Houston's downhill from us, so yeah. it's, it's pretty good. Just get on 59 and go, <laughs> right? That's right. Uh, but the, you know the convention is obviously a big deal, and it, it kind of signals the start of football season. And, right. And, and I'm not going to date you, but you've, you've been around a little while. You've been, been to a few of these things. When you come to the coaching school and convention, do you have a, a list of speakers or a list of vendors you want to go to? Do you kind of plan it out, or you just kind of come here and just kind of check everything out? Well, we, we, you know, we get the schedule, and we look at it, and we do. We definitely go through the vendors. There's people that, that we need to see and talk about the things that we got to get for this year and the new things. Um, but there are some, you know, there are speakers that we want to hear, and we, we, we divide up. We've got special teams guys that are going to the special team speakers. We, you know, it's it's a good place to pick up one thing. If you can pick up one thing and take it back and help your kids, that's, that's a good goal because not everything fits what you do. But uh, And really what it is, it's that last chance you got uh, to just kind of relax a little bit as a staff. See a few old friends, see right? other other friends, mm -hmm. and then you know once you leave here, it's on, and yeah. and then you know you can uh, you can take a break in in December after that. But it's a good thing. And uh, for for a young coach, you know, if you have any young coaches that, that are that are coming up or, or, or on your staff, uh, you know, how important is it for them to be involved and go to the regional meetings and go to the general meetings and be involved in the association? Absolutely, it's very important, and that people don't understand, it. and especially the young ones don't understand that uh, uh, the voice is. It's a whole lot bigger. It's a whole lot better when you've got a mass that's talking the same. And, we, you know, we've got to take care of ourselves here. We've got to make sure that, that uh, our public school kids are taken care of. And we've got great people in, ahead of us and people that are above us that are fighting for us. And uh, we've got to stick together. Now let's look ahead at 2019 season. And, and, and I know uh, expectations are never low in Lufkin, America. Mm -hmm. You know, they, right. they, the, the you know, Panther fans, and they're, they're a rabid fan base, and they, they want to win a lot of ball games, right. and, and they're – they have high expectations, and I know I know you and your coaching staff high, have high expectations. And uh, boy, you, you really opened up with a, you're opening up with a cupcake with with Longview this year. <laughs> I mean, you just you just kind of going to ease out of the box a little bit. So you, you'll get to know yeah. where, where you guys stand real quick. That's a great measuring Absolutely. stick, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, uh, the quicker you can get things fixed, the better. You you come through and you play two or three donkeys at the first, and you don't you don't know what's going on or what's wrong. Um, that's not the case with Longview. They're they're a good staff, and uh, they get after kids, and kids play hard, and and uh, you know exactly where you stand after that. And I imagine uh, that Friday night at uh, Abe Martin Stadium, it's going to be a pretty pretty fun atmosphere, won't it? Well, we you know we we go up there, we switch out every year, yeah. but uh, we like playing at home. You know, of course. it's tough to play there. It's tough to play at our, our place too. So um, uh, it'll be rocking. And then your district, I mean, it's a tough district again. I mean, yes, I mean, you is. know, you guys were, you know, back down in 5A last year. And a lot of folks immediately go, oh, Lufkin's going down to 5A. It's going to be a cakewalk. And, and your district's not the case. I mean, College no. Station's a good ball club. Uh, the, both Magnolia schools are good. That's I mean, right. and, and there's there's a lot of depth. So, uh, and then the road trips are a little tough because, you know, some of those places are, are you know, got, got to get on the, on the back roads and get out yeah. there. So, uh 
th those are all challenging road trips, I would imagine. Oh yeah, right? our district is very tough. We've got great coaches in there, and they've got great players, and, uh, and they do a, they do a great job of game planning and taking advantage of what they can do. And uh, um, no, uh, the people that say that don't understand the game and don't understand how it works. People uh, people are very smart, and they got great kids. Now, when we look at the, your, your ball club in 2019, what's, what do you feel like the personality of your team is going to be for Panther fans getting ready to watch you guys take the field? Uh, what, do, what do you think the personality of your ball club is going to be? Well, uh, our strengths are going to be the back end of the defense and the receiver uh, running back area of the offense. You know, that's the strength of it. Those guys are coming back. We have more people that have played in that position. Our defensive line, we lost all our defensive line and a couple of linebackers, so we've got to replace those guys. The good mm -hmm. thing is, is we rotate – two groups throughout the season. Uh, one takes about 70% or 65, 70% of the snaps, and the others come in. So we've got some playing time, but there's a difference between being that second flight guy coming yeah. in and the guy that's fixing to stand out there right after the national anthem. So you gotta, um, you got to get them out there and get them ready. So, but, you know, we've got good players there, but, uh, you know, they're going to have to come on. They're going to have to step it up. I remember watching your kids in the, at State 7-on-7. Seven, I mean, it's 7-on-7. Seven seven, it's not real football, right. but you can take some things from it, especially at skill positions. Mm -hmm. And watching you guys this summer, uh, you definitely look like, like you have a good group of skill kids coming mm -hmm. back. Yeah, that's definitely so going to be our strength. Excited about that. Yeah. Well, uh, Coach, before we let you go, we're going to have you spin the Dick's Sporting Goods Wheel of Questions. All right. Uh-oh. Uh, you got to answer, answer truthfully and honestly. Okay. And if it's anything bad about Coach Green, you need to skip that one, right? No, no I'll take that one. I'll take that any time. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. All right, every coach, nobody's perfect. We're oh, all human, man. right? I knew it was going to be <laughs> what, what, what was uh, – is there one, like, goof up that you had where or you, you, maybe you were a young coach and you got yelled at for oh, yeah. for, for doing something silly oh, when you were a exactly young coach? I know exactly what it is. Okay. I know exactly. It came straight to my mind. We're, we're in Sherman, and uh, I was in charge of equipment, which is nobody even volunteers for that, you know. And so <laughs> um, I was in charge. Of, we show up at the Gopher Bowl, and uh, – we go out for a pregame, and we have no game balls, no no pregame balls. I mean, we've got none. And uh, I had to go up and tell Coach Outlaw that we didn't have any footballs at all at the game. So that that was my probably the worst. I took a pretty good chewing over that. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, it was in front of everybody, and nobody stepped up and helped or anything. I took every bit of it. Oh, so. You took all the bullets, huh? Absolutely. How young? Yeah. I'm assuming you were a young coach. What, what, how many years in were you? Were you <laughs> – well, it was probably uh, – I was three years in Arkadelphia and at seven. So it was probably five or six years in. Yeah, okay. You know, but I bet, were you dreading that conversation? <laughs> oh, yeah. But I had it – wasn't, it wasn't like I could sit on it. We were yeah. fixing to go out the first wave, and uh, we had no footballs. Luckily, our uh, sporting goods guy was at the game, and he went in his truck and picked us up two or three footballs, and uh, we played with some – Brand new some, slick footballs. Yes, yes, They're slick, yes. huh? Boy. And I, you know, I dreaded that, but it, the the Saturday morning six o'clock film session was bad too. So <laughs> it carried over to the next. Did y'all win the game at least? We did win the okay, game. Okay, well at least you won the game. So <laughs> yeah, because oh, <laughs> if, it, if it you'd have lost, it'd have been even worse, huh? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> well, coach, bad. we appreciate your time. Thanks for what you do for student Thank athletes you. in the state of Texas, and I appreciate uh, it. Good luck in twenty nineteen. Same to y'all. Thank y'all for what y'all do.